It's taken almost five years, but one of Europe's most controversial directives, the Airline Passenger Name Record, or PNR, neared the end of its long haul through Parliament. We've created a directive which I know is going to save lives, protect rights, catch criminals and make Europe a safer place for our citizens. PNR is about collecting basic passenger details, name, gender, age, that sort of thing, to be used in the fight against terrorism and serious crime, like people trafficking. It can be kept for five years, but after six months is rendered anonymous. Supporters say privacy protection is solid. The PNR is not an instrument of surveillance de masse indiscriminée. The PNR is an instrument sélectif, proportionné et encadré par des procédures extrêmement vigilantes. Not everyone agreed. Anlasslose Massenüberwachung ohne Differenzierung nach geografischem Gebiet oder Zeitraum ist mit der europäischen Grundrechtecharta unvereinbar. We have to confess that external pressure has been huge. The debate has often been completely fact-free. The lobby has been aggressive and sometimes immoral, and there have been many ad hominem attacks. But it remains to be seen whether we get the security that everybody is talking about or whether this is just fake security. The MEP steering PNR says it has already proved its value. In the last five years, things have gone on to a totally different level. There have been a number of, a number of people who have been detained um, from their intentions to commit terrorist acts. In light of recent terrorist attacks, many MEPs want PNR implemented immediately.